We are called to investigate usually in situations of ongoing conflict. And the challenge there is that uh, we need to devise ways in which we can contact the witnesses uh, or the victims slash witnesses in a way that it will not expose them. So the issue of protection of witnesses, security of witnesses, and security of staff is a huge challenge in those, uh, in those situations. So, so we really need to work out very carefully what we can do, how we can do it, so that we do not re-expose or re-traumatize you know, those witnesses. Another challenge that uh, we face is uh, related to the witnesses is the issue of um, uh, at, um, those who are interfering with the administration of justice. And the challenge we face there is that if they are successful in, uh, in uh, getting the witnesses to turn, or they get, getting the witnesses not to um, cooperate with the office anymore, they can succeed in derailing the case. In the Kenyatta case, this is what the office was confronted with, uh, at the level of witness interference and witness tampering was unprecedented. In, in any of our cases, we've not faced that before. And we had to look for ways to deal with it. In the end, the evidence got so eroded that I had to withdraw the cases. So this is uh, the serious damage it can have for the, for the case. And uh, I have uh, um, publicly said that, uh, what we were, that cooperation must be timely and must be tangible. Another area is politicization politicization of the court. It is unfortunate that whatever step the ICC takes is not going to please some. And therefore, there are various attempts to uh, politicize the court. So this, is, this creates also mis misperceptions about the court. And as you know, misperceptions are very, very difficult to deal with uh, because it's, it's based on facts that are not relevant. But at the same time, it uh, sometimes resonates with some people and they really take that perception. So these are, uh, this is another area that is really a, a, a big challenge and a problem for the office. Budget is also a challenge that the, the, the office constantly faces in the sense that whilst we see that the cases and the situations before the ICC is uh, multiplying, we do not have the matching resources for that. And I have been uh, uh, saying this to the Assembly of States Parties and to the CBF that we, for us to be effective, we need adequate resources to be able to ex um, I mean, exercise our mandate. If this does not happen, we cannot be um, as effective as the states parties that created, that established the court want us to be.